Okay. Hey. Do you want to start? No. Why not? You can start. Okay. Um, hi, guys. Uh, as Hello. you've seen by the title, probably, uh, today's video is going to be a bit of a big one, a bit of a big update, a lot of what's been going on in our minds, in our lives. A bit of sweetness. Yeah, behind the scenes. Um, we thought we'd come out here because we've got the horses in the back and this is the garden of this home was always like the most peaceful place to it's, be. Yeah, it's such a slice of heaven. And can you um, hear, wait, let's be quiet and hear all the birds. Last night I could hear all the owls again. Mm. Yeah. So this place has always held a really, really special place to our heart. Um, this is the home that um, we moved into when I moved from Australia to the Netherlands. So I literally came straight off the plane with my horse Chase and we went from the airport in Luxembourg and we drove straight here. And this was always a magical, exciting place for us. Um, it was like for me, as at least I would have never expected to be living in a place like this. So it's like a dream, first of all, to have your horses at your home. Yeah. Then it's so pretty and it's so like covered in trees and yeah. it's so peaceful for the horses. They are just out here. You can see them from the home. So I think it's a very special thing. And for me, definitely a dream that came true. Yeah. I mean, it was fully set up um, and it was ready to go. And throughout the years, we've been able to really put our own um, stamp on it and really make it our own. Of course you did. Oh, we built the grass. Yeah, everything. We all had to suffer, but it looks great. During COVID, I didn't know what to do with my life. So we literally tore the whole garden apart, put it all back together. We redid the fencing outside. Um, we redid the whole home on the inside. Also um, true. So it's been a really, really exciting journey to be part of. And it's been absolutely incredible uh, living here and we've enjoyed absolutely every single second. But, and it's a big but, there is a lot of changes going on oh. inside of our lives, all for the better. Um, yes, and, yes and I could have never predicted that kind of um, our careers, our ambitions would be taking us in this direction. Um, but we have decided that we are gonna sell our home. Which is very sad and it's kind of, new to us. I mean, we, you always looked online, but that's yeah. some just kind of hobby you have. I think, I think in um, my mind, I always kept the door open uh, and I'm going to bring you guys through the pro uh, thought process in a second, but I've always um, been excited about, you know, change and different things. <coughs> and I always look on, uh, at properties. That's something I do for fun. But even I think your whole life you'll be moving like you lived in Italy, then you lived in Australia. Now you live here? Yeah, but don't get me wrong, I hate moving. Like, I'm <laughs> such a creature of habit. I love my things and to have everything in place. That's what I really thrive in, is that kind of consistency. Um, but basically, Yes and I just kind of started talking and in the last like year or two, um, some things for us have been challenging and haven't really made sense. So, like, we have some horses here at home Yes. and we employ staff at home and we have to run everything here but then we still pay a really large amount of money to have horses somewhere else and for them to be looked after um, and i think for me because i would like more horses as well like more horses but like i want to have the opportunity to have another horse for just for what we do as would i um yeah but i wouldn't now i've had the horses here at home i wouldn't really put my horses in someone else's care not that somebody else can't do the right thing but i wouldn't do that and here we are only allowed to have five horses and we have them here already yeah so at one point you then need to decide okay what do we want to do and we have a lot of other fun kind of ambitions that we want and want to be able to do but that's not really possible here. So, so then there's yeah. only one thing left. The place was perfect, but there's a sense of limitation to it. Like we feel like this is like, we've kind of taken everything to as far as we can. We've gone to the council, we've presented them several different ideas with making exemptions for like rebuilding a new stable here, having more horses here, all that kind of stuff. And, and, and just shelter in the fields for the horses, for example. Yeah, having shelter in the fields, having trees in the fields, and it's been no after no after no after no. Um, and so for us, it was kind of like, well, either there's two things we can do. We can either choose to accept that this is um, the setup we're gonna have, and we're always gonna have to manage having some of our horses at home in some way, or we're gonna have to sell and look for a place that can facilitate everything in the one location. 
You look like someone who's looking to either make a website or um, run your website on a better platform, then Squarespace is where you need to be. Squarespace offers hundreds of already made templates where you can go in, uh, pick your favorite one, still customize everything you want. You don't need to have any coding knowledge. It's super user friendly. I run my shop on there. I've been running my website on Squarespace for almost four years now. Um, I truly, truly love the user experience. It's so easy to use on the go as well. You can make quick changes on your phone, whether it's updating stock levels, changing text, or uh, changing the photos as well. If this sounds like what you're looking for, then do use my link, which is www.squarespace.com slash madharniki. In doing so, you'll receive 10% off your first purchase of a website or a domain. It's so real now you speak it out loud on yeah. YouTube because it's been going on in our lives for a while. Yeah. I mean, um, of course, we don't come it, to these decisions in one day. Oh, no. We've thought about this extensively. I know both of us were first like, no, never. Not never, but like, we're not going to do it. And then slowly, and I think now I'm kind of starting to get ready for it. Yeah. Well, like, oh, it will be sad, but I'm also excited for what's to come. And maybe yeah. we can have some cute little goats. <laughs> okay, you're, go you're thinking way too far ahead, but you should be ready for it because the house actually is already sold. The house never even managed to get on the market yet. We had found a real estate agent and everything, but um, some lovely people that uh, knew of us and knew of the house found out that we were renting the stables that are five minutes away. And they presumed that we would be selling the house because of that, even though we hadn't said anything. No, it had nothing to do with each other. Yeah. Um, but they, people were just talking, I think, in the area. Yeah. And they made their own. That's how it always goes. The town the talks. <laughs> the town likes to chat. <laughs> um, and so, yeah, so then they approached us and they said, listen, we're really interested in the house. We already know of the house and we've also seen it through like your um, socials and we really like it. One thing led to another. In like a couple of days, the house was sold. Yes. And I think for them, it's also like the perfect house. They have yeah. the horses for fun as a hobby, not as many. Just a nice couple that wants to really enjoy and love the horses. And that made it easier for me as well to know that the house will be going to like people that will just enjoy, to people that will enjoy just as much as we as can. As we would, yeah, absolutely. And that would take care of it because I mean, we have put in so much labor and passion That's and love you. into this place. Well, both of us. Um, and we want to see that kind of like carried on, you know, um, and they definitely will do that. So you might be asking yourself, okay, well, okay, the house is sold. Where are you guys going? <laughs> What's happening? Are you living on That's the street? That's a bit of a situation. So you can explain. <laughs> Where are we going? Yes, sir. Where are we moving into? Well, we, as we said, like we wanted to sell and find another place, but we were not expecting to be selling, like to be having to move out so quickly. Um, so now we, of course, don't have our next place yet, uh, but we are renting the stables and the stables have also apartments there. So we will be living in a cute chalet, if you will. And I always said to Matt, I would like to go camping with you because I yeah. used to do it when I was younger and he is not really into camping. I'm not, in, the camping thing is not for me. So now no. we will be camping for a while. Okay, it's not camping, it's a very small okay, no. uh, apartment. Uh, we've done some <laughs> renovations to it, I think I think I'm gonna vlog like some of the moving and stuff and I'm gonna show you guys the process of like what it was and what it looks like now. It yeah, already looks it a lot cuter. I think it can be very cozy because every time I'm in a smaller apartment, it is nice and I always say in the house you have a lot of space, in the house okay. you have a lot of space, which is nice, but you can't do anything with space you're looking at. I love the, <laughs> okay. I love the positive outlook, yeah, so, so you're really convincing yourself here. I just also am just thinking about the dogs because I want them to grow up and like have a nice happy life. Yeah. So I hope you will enjoy big, it there as well. That was actually such a big factor for us. We were like, okay, but okay, we want to do all these things, but how will that look for the dogs? Because we can make compromises, but we want them to be able to live a happy yeah. life. So and I think there they will have a happy life. Yeah, still. I mean, there's still a lot of space. We have all the horses together, so that's still perfect. I can see Andorra for my window which is very nice so we are still very lucky to be able to do it like this so actually the timing worked out perfectly yeah um, which is always very crazy until we have found the new place that we will go to yeah and that will just all be a long process still but that's also very exciting but until then we live there in the apartment with all the horses uh, with everything together, so that yeah. also will, uh, will make a big difference. So all the horses from here at home are going to move to that stable. Uh, we have 30 stables there. We're not going to be filling all of them up. Um, so all of these horses will go where my stallions are and where Gaio is. And I will do a tour video. So if you want to see the place a bit more, even though they probably know it from yours. But that's okay. Already. We'll do a tour anyway, just to update everyone yeah. on what it's like. And that's where the apartment is, if that hasn't been made clear enough already. Um, now, goals for the future, like why are we doing all of this? So basically, 
Yes and I want to find a property that's something for the future. Like this is something that we put a lot of time and energy into, but we kind of, let's say, grew out of in the terms of possibilities and what we could do. We want to find a place that allows us for the next 30 years to chase different adventures inside of the horse world and different activities. If we want to do some breeding, if we want to do some clinics at home, if we want to have goats, <laughs> because we would like to not move again. <laughs> Yes, that's definitely the goal is to not move again. And I think it's so exciting to be able to have little projects and to have little things and yeah. you can really make them your own. Um, I think that's what this property taught us is that we love making spaces our own and we love to have something going on and to look forward to. And it's been so rewarding. Like every time we come down the stairs to like the home and, and we, we come to like the main floor, we're like, wow, we're, we're so glad we renovated. Like this really feels like our space. Yes. When we walk outside and we see the gardens, we see the fencing, we see like how we've changed things. We're like, oh, we're so happy we did all these things. And it's very fulfilling. And I think that's something we want to have for a longer period of time. Yes. And we are quite open to it. It doesn't have to be in this area. I mean, we have we're some actually areas in the Netherlands we don't want to definitely not go. looking in this area anymore because right now we're very coastal and very north. Well, north of Amsterdam, but it's northwest. Is it northwest here? Oh, I don't know. It's just... But it's a very... <laughs> it's not a super it's horsey... Like, it's a very horsey area, but all the professionals are usually more down south and east. And so it's actually really difficult to find good farriers, stuff like that here. Um, it's very difficult to find big pieces of land here. Um, and if you do find big pieces of land, it's like super open. So there's no trees, there's no nothing, and it's very windy. And that's something that you and I definitely don't like. We like more of like open spaces surrounded by forests. So we can also go with the horses like on a lot of trails. And, and we are lucky like that. here that we have forest, like looking at forest around us in our house. Yeah. But that's very rare because all the other places are just flat. Flat, completely <laughs> flat. Uh, so you guys will see like at the stables when Yessa gives you the tour, you'll see it's like literally a field in the middle of fields and there's nothing, it's just open. And that's definitely what and we don't want. And it's a really nice place, but for our future, we, that's not what we are looking for. No. And I'll tell you this, we don't want any neighbors in the new place. We want to be, we want to have our space and distance from neighbors. So we don't feel like we have people watching over the fence and keeping tabs on us. We don't like that. We want to have our own space. Yes. Um, so that will be an important thing too. Positivity. Yeah. If so, <laughs> so we want. I don't know if we've talked about size wise, but we want something quite big. So we want to look around 20, 25 acres. That's so around like eight, hectare. eight to 10 hectares, something like that. Uh, we want to have, and that's because we want to have the space to grow with potentially maybe even more land around that in the future we could buy. And if for we us, it's to. just very important that our horses go out a lot. Yes. And that's why we want to have like a good ground and then also a lot of space and we can have like cute little outdoor stables on so they can yeah. choose to go in and out because that's always a really big thing that we think is so important for Exactly. Like our horses here at home are very lucky. Right here is sand. So even in winter, they're always out. Uh, every day in the summer like they've been months out they haven't even gone in the stables because the weather's been so nice so that's definitely something that we want to try and keep going and that's why we need the space as well um, in order for them to have that kind of lifestyle yeah um so yeah so we're going to be looking we've kind of made a, a rough idea it's more like towards the middle and bottom of the netherlands is where we're going to be looking at um, we're going to be taking you guys on that journey with us when we go look at new properties and kind of take you through every single step of the Getting way. Getting nervous now. <laughs> I know, it's all becoming I'm really official. taking it all in here now. You also do it? Or you already moved on? Because I'm really like, when I walk out here, I'm like looking at everything, walking extra slow, very dramatic. I think I'm taking <laughs> it all in, but I'm, I'm, I, it's bittersweet, but I'm not upset. Like I'm, I'm excited about the future. And, and this, have some, you have had some process to it. Yeah, I mean, it's been some time that we've been able to take it all in. So this feels like the right step and I'm excited about the future. So very, very soon we're going to be Within the next month or two, we're going to be starting to look at some property. Uh, you guys are going to be coming with us. It's going to be exciting. We're going to see where we land. Um, so that's yeah, actually a so very exciting future series. Everything that we're going to do, yeah. I think, we take you with us because we also know you guys also have watched a lot of things here on this property. And I yeah. feel like we already got so many messages a while ago when we were renovating, yeah. like, oh, don't sell the place. Yeah. And then when I shared, I shared like in my last video at the end of the vlog, I said, you know, a lot of things are changing. We're going to be letting you guys in on that very soon. And a lot of you guys were like, don't tell Matt, don't tell me you sold the house. <laughs> and yeah. that is what we did. <laughs> 
Yeah. Um, but it is all for, for a good reason. And I think it's going to bring us a lot of happiness in the, in the long term, having a place where we can see a really long future and that we yeah. can really put our heart and soul into. And it is always and, scary uh, with the place. that you might regret things. But I think if you never try to do new things, you will always stay in the same place where you are right now. So yeah. that's what I'm trying to keep telling myself. Yeah. <laughs> so for now, this is our last week on the property. Uh, this week is Probably all about... the last video for you here. Yeah, this oh, is no. all, well, maybe the vlog that I'm going to do with like some packing, moving vlogs. But um, this will be uh, our last week uh, today. This whole week is being spent like packing, arranging things. Like a lot of stuff has to go into storage because the apartment is so small. The yeah. current owners actually bought a lot of the furniture um, in the house. So that actually is a great combination. I think it also really fits the place here. So mm -hmm. we don't have too much of that kind of stuff to move. We're going to have to see where all of our clothes are going to go in the new house because yeah, it's be so little... small <laughs> it's the size of my pocket um i can make some space yeah. in my warehouse yeah we're, we're gonna have to see <laughs> we're gonna have to figure it out um but thank you guys so much for having supported us you guys are the reason that we're able to um bring you guys on these journeys with us have a home like this and shop for the home that we're going to and that's why we kind of want to bring you guys on that journey with us because it feels like you guys are helping us do it and we want to kind of share that and give that back Yes, um, so. and we just are a great community, I think. <laughs> <laughs> like, yeah. They are just like no, so I, positive. No, I, I really think so. I really, really think so. Um, so, yes, I guess this is um, kind of like an official goodbye to the house here and closing of the chapter. But I am really, really excited about what the future is to come and 2024 is going to be a huge year for us. Um, <laughs> so I'm excited to bring you guys on that journey with us. But in the meantime, I hope you guys are all not too sad about these news. Um, the, the home and this space will always live through all of the previous videos that we've made. So you can always go back and, and see it in that way. And it but is I'm, and always will be a special place. Yeah, it will always be. It will always have a really special place in, in our heart. That's for sure. I think that's it. Sorry, there's a spider web buzz on my face. Oh, I think that's that's it though. Mm. Um, we're gonna be so yes is doing as I said like a vlog about like um, the horses moving and like a tour. I'm gonna be doing like more of like a private vlog of us like packing everything, showing you like the new apartment and the new setup, all that kind of stuff. Um, I hope we get it done in time. Yeah, no, but it will be, it will be, it will be it fine. Will I'm, I'm really excited about it, and I'm excited to see your guys' comments um, down below. So, yeah, that's it for now. Thank you all so yes. much for for watching, for supporting us. Uh, I'm excited to share 2024 with you all, um, and we will be seeing you in the next moving vlogs, which will be coming out very soon. Yes. Okay. Okay. <laughs> see you soon, okay, and you. goodbye Thank from uh, from our beautiful bye, home. Bye. <laughs> you can't you can't be serious it's because you're emotional that's why you're I'm okay <laughs> okay so we'll see you guys in the next one okay bye bye, -bye.